Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Happy 2021. I cannot believe that it is already 2021, but it's kind of a good thing that 2020 is over now. But I hope that everyone had a good New Year's and got to maybe take some time off and spend it with their family. I also wanted to say thank you guys so much for your continued support, especially over the past year. It's been a year to remember, so thank you guys so much for all of your support. It really means a lot and I really appreciate you. So this video is going to be more of a vlog style video. I wanted to do more of like a plan with me kind of video since 2020 is over and it's the start of a new year. Just like setting some goals and kind of like talking about my goals and kind of like how I plan and stuff. So I did want to do that and then I also wanted to show the Yeezy 700 clay browns that came in. I know a lot of people on Instagram were asking if I was going to do like a review on them but I kind of wanted to do a review in like a vlog style video. So I'm just going to do it like that way, but I will show you how they look on feet as well and kind of give like my first impressions on them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit the subscribe button and if you guys like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first off, I did get the Yeezy 700 V3 Clay Browns. I believe that's like the full name. Sometimes it's just hard to remember like the full name, but I'm pretty sure that's the name of it. But these were actually delayed because like I did get them a while ago now, but because of like all of the holiday shopping, things got delayed. So I did win these off of the Adidas app. And even though they took a while to ship, like when they actually shipped, I got them within two days so I was really happy that they came in that quick but I honestly just looked at them really quickly so I haven't really like looked at them fully so it's really gonna be like my first impressions on them because I didn't really like look at them thoroughly and then this is what it says on the box over here and I also did get this in a size six and a half which is my true to size it's not my 350 V2 Yeezy size. I do get 350s in a size 7. So I did want to just say that because I know a lot of people were saying that they do run small. But for me, I still wanted to get the 6.5 because I always get all of my 700s in that. So I just wanted to be safe. And they are infinity laces, so I wanted to make sure like it actually fit. So here is the shoe. So right off the bat, I really like the colors. I mean, it's basically like an all black shoe and then it does have like little hints of that tan clay brown color and it's really very subtle. It's not like it doesn't pop out, but it is on the other side as well. So it's on both of the sides and that is kind of interesting because it's like stripes around here and then dots in the front. So it's a little bit different design, I guess, than what we're used to. And then also the infinity laces here it also does come so it also comes with regular laces too i do really like adidas does that because like if you don't like infinity laces it's always a good option that you have the option to switch them out and then also here you can see that it has like the two metallic pieces so it really stands out and i'm sure this is 3m yeah it kind of seems like it to me but Oh, well, also when I just looked inside on here, it's really knit. So this looks like you can actually like look through it on the inside and I can see through it. So it's very breathable, it looks like. And then on the bottom, this is what it looks like. And then in the circles here, it looks like navy to me. So it's like a navy color, which is a little bit different. And this is pretty lightweight. It's not very heavy at all. I mean, it has some weight to it, but it's very like lightweight. And also on the back, it's very like low cut. So I would just be like aware of that because the front kind of sticks out a little bit more. So I do really like these. I feel like the color is nice, especially if you're looking for like an all black shoe. But the only thing I would say is when I tried them on, for me, it just looks like the MNVNs, which I do have because those are an all black 700 again. So even though there is the hint of tan, I feel like for me, it kind of felt like I was wearing the MNVNs. 
I wish I didn't wear the MNVNs because I do like these better, but I kind of like don't want the same exact shoe. Like that's kind of how it feels like when I put it on. But I mean, it is really different obviously too because like the MNVNs just have the 700 writing on the side. So it is different in that aspect, but just like my opinion, I feel like when I have it on, like the front especially looks the same because it's like the infinity laces again, minus this like metallic piece here. And size wise for the six and a half, which is my true size, it is a little bit snug, but I don't think I would size up, but I could size up and I would be fine. So if you are worried about it being like really tight, then definitely go the half size up and I'm pretty sure you'll be fine because it is very snug on me. But yeah, like I said, it's a little bit too close to the MNBNs, but like they are very different as well. But I'll show you how they look on feet really quickly now. Okay, so now moving on to the planning part of this video. I know this is something different, but I thought it'd be really fun because I love to plan and I wouldn't say I'm the best at planning, but I really like to plan and try to just like set little accomplishments. So this year, I really want to like hold myself accountable and kind of just really plan and try and set goals for myself and like accomplish them and I just wanted to share kind of like what I've learned this past year. So first I wanted to show this is my old planner the 2021. I always get my planners from Marshalls or Home Goods. I just personally love them and for the price like you can't beat it. Like they range from like depends on the size but if you get like a small one it's like five dollars. Probably like the priciest one would be like $14.99. But then this year I ended up getting this is my new planner. And I really like this one. This one was actually $9.99, so it was $10 at Home Goods, which isn't bad at all. So I really like this one because at the beginning of the month, it has like a sheet where it kind of is like an overview for the month where like you can list your goals, birthdays, anniversary, and also to do's. So I really like that because it really helps to plan out the whole month and kind of just give you like an overview of what you want to do. And then it also has the section for the week. So then you have a whole bunch of space for that specific day where you can list out your to-dos and what you actually want to accomplish that day and just reminders. So this one I do really like. I mean, obviously you can get other planners that are more expensive. There's like this one Erin Conjurin, I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. But those are pretty pricey online, but I heard like really good things about them. Okay, I'm just gonna share like how I'm planning and just like planning out my goals for the year. So in this planner, because I just bought it like yesterday and December 28th is already gone. I do want to have my goals listed in this planner. So I'm going to use this week where it says December 28th as my goals because I don't need this page anymore. So just like wasted paper. So this year, especially instead of having like really specific goals, I want to have more like broad goals because it gives me more room to really work on myself. And I don't know, suppose the last year I had like really specific goals and I feel like those are really unrealistic for me personally, just like what I was saying then. So just a warning, these are gonna be really broad, but it's honestly just truthful. So I wanna be real with you. And yeah, so my first goal is going to be more consistent. And I know that sounds like really cliche and stuff, but it's really something that I struggled with last year, I feel like, especially being consistent on YouTube and Instagram. Those are my two things that I really want to be consistent on. So I really want to make it a point this year to be consistent on the specific days that I am supposed to post. And I really have been trying to post on Tuesdays and Fridays as my days. So I'm trying to stick with that. I really am not certain if I'm gonna change those up, 
but it really depends on like what people want so if you guys have a preference on the days you like to watch let me know in the comments below but for now i'm really planning on doing tuesday and fridays so for me that's like the biggest thing and also on instagram i feel like i'm not consistent at all with like my posts so i really want to try and develop a schedule that works for me so my second goal is going to be being more positive and I know that is so broad, like I said, but it's honestly so truthful and I just really want to be real. So I would say that I try to be positive most of the time, but everyone has their downs and I do struggle with that sometimes. So I just really want to portray like being more positive because when I'm putting out more positivity, I just feel better as a whole. So yeah, that's really like a main goal of mine for this year. So my third goal is going to be being more organized and I know these are so basic like if you're like wow these are so basic I know but honestly for me it just really helps me give like a broad aspect of it and I don't know because I do struggle with being really organized I do like to have a planner and plan out things but like I said I kind of overwhelm myself with putting so many accomplishments that I really want to achieve and that's not being realistic like i really noticed towards the end of the year i started really putting down less tasks for myself and more realistic tasks for the day that i wanted to accomplish as opposed to like writing 10 things i wanted to do in a day and like it's not realistic because you're just really tired if you do a lot of those things and you're not going to accomplish everything so i really put down things that i wanted to accomplish that day and it was a smaller list and things that I possibly could do. I feel like that helped me so much and it really helped my like mood because feeling accomplished is so underrated. Like it just feels so good to be accomplished when you set these goals for yourself and you achieve them. So yeah, being more organized for me really means to just really set realistic goals and really organize them well where I can set myself up for you know achieving them realistically so I know this video was a little bit different and it's more of like a vlog but like talking so much so I hope this video kind of helped you to maybe like set some goals for yourself and really understand that you don't have to set like unrealistic goals and really do so much as long as you work on things and really just like help you personally grow yourself so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have a good start to your 2021 and i hope that this year is a lot better than last year for most i know last year was a lot of downs like just globally and just like everything going on in the news and stuff so i hope this year is a lot better for you and yeah i hope you guys set some goals for yourself so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.